YouTube and thanks again for coming to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I did this look on my face right here. And this I actually wore it for Valentine's. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here goes the infamous Glam Glow I'm always speaking to you guys about. I love so much. I use it as a primer, but I first moisturize my face with this. After I'm done moisturizing, I go ahead in with my Pore Professional, which is a nice matte primer and it is the best thing. Especially if you don't want any of like that serious shine on your face, it gives you a nice matte look. I love it. It's perfect for pictures and videos. Okay, you guys, so here I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is like my favorite concealer. It's really full coverage. It's nice. It goes on your face perfect. It feels like you have nothing on, and it also has like some type of tightening formula in it. This is like the best thing ever. I use this to shape my eyebrows. I cover my imperfections. I use this for like everything because this is just life right here this is one of my favorites Now here, this is where I'm going to use my actual eyeshadow primer. It's the Potion from Urban Decay. Oh my god, it's so good. It actually has skin tightening in it. So if you feel like you have like little crow's feet or anything, this is going to be the best thing to help your makeup pop. Here's the fun part. So many palettes to choose from. Which one should I choose? Huda Beauty, y'all. You know, so when it comes to doing any type of eyeshadow, that's what it's about, is shadowing. Shadowing is important. The more darker you go. hey how's it going time to do my eyebrows <laughs> so i wasn't trying to make this video super long and i figured i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how i do one eyebrow i'm gonna use my anastasia pencil and with this all i'm doing is just filling in my eyebrows they're pretty much already done i just want them filled in Foundation time, time to just feel naked in your own skin with Urban Decay. When it 
it comes to putting on my foundation, I just blotch it everywhere. This is a really, really good foundation. Like I told you guys before, it's really lightweight. You don't even feel it on you, and it actually blends in with your skin so perfect. Like, just look at that. Already looking like a million bucks. I'm going in with my beauty blender just to make sure that it's all blended out perfect. And then I'm going to put on my primer just to, you know, buff it up a little bit more. Now it's time to bronze with Hourglass, my favorite, favorite, favorite bronzer. So the technique to bronzing and shadowing and contouring, all that beautiful stuff, you just want to bring the brush up. Just bring it up. I swear, I hate how contouring looks when you're first starting off because it just looks like I'm putting shit on my nose, honestly. <laughs> and then you blend the shit into your nose until you're happy. Here's the Too Faced Sun Bunny little palette. This right here, this shit equals life, especially in the summertime. This is that beautiful bronzer glow that's just like so illuminating. I really love the highlighter in this palette. I put it on the tip of my nose to give it more of like a pointy, sharper look. It's just gonna define my nose more. I put it on my cupid's bow and I also put it on the corner of my eyebrows just to give me a more high definition look. Angel wee. Here's my Milani blush. This is was only $7 I think at Target. This is a really good blush. This is a really cute orange color. It's not too rosy, so it doesn't look like your damn cheeks are freezing. It just gives you that nice, healthy glow. I really like this color on my cheeks because it just... I feel like I don't got way too much on. You can, like, pack it on as much as you want. And, like I said, it just goes into your face like it's natural. Now time for eyes. So if you guys know me, I like everything dramatic. So that's why I'm going to put this black on my water lines. Because it's going to give me a more defined, serious black under look. See? Time for the cat eyes with Stila. Okay, so I fucked up and recorded this video so wrong. I went too far down when I was recording this. So you're not going to really get to see how I do my cat eye. But as you can see, I just like to go over it over and over again because I just keep tracing it and then I go back in and fill it in. There you go. It's a cat eye. And then clean up whatever else just to sharpen the eyes. Remember when I said I like better than sex? Well, here's the climax, bitch. This is the best eye mascara ever in the world that was ever made just check out this dang mascara it is so damn sexy and dramatic this is like the perfect look for the perfect girl Here comes my favorite fail. My favorite fail. <coughs> oh God, I gotta stop. And then it was that moment where she knew she fucked up. I tried to make the dust sexy and just built it everywhere. <laughs> but just check out this glow, girls. Look at me, it's so sexy. I look so shiny, like a shiny unicorn. Boop, boop. I get too obsessed with these highlighters. Now you guys, I'm gonna put on my lipstick. It just feels so good on my lips. And I told you guys before, Dior is my favorite. It's just so plumpy and juicy. It makes my lips feel so beautiful. Mwah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So good. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to line my lips. You guys have to line your lips before anything. Remember that. Make sure that your lips are nice and lined because if you want some nice, sexy, big, juicy lips, lip liner is key for this. Let's do it. You just want to douse yourself with some all-nighter because you're going to be out all night. 
time to get camera ready so you could take the perfect pictures for this Valentine. And we are all set. Mwah. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And have a good Valentine.